Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are purple. I decided to change it up a little bit. I had this purple background in my closet for the longest time. So if you see some wrinkles on it, I'm sorry. It was just like in the back of my closet. And it probably bothers me more than it bothers you. So, so today I decided to do a favorites video. I Whoa, those were my blinds. One of them just fell off. It's okay, we'll keep going. So I decided to do a favorites video. I haven't done one since like July, I think. It was time for a new one. First of all, did you watch the Oscars? What did you think of the Oscars? If you haven't watched my predictions video, I will leave it at the end of this video. Um, I, got, I got a lot of them right. I was pretty surprised. I should bet money on that next year. So today I'm gonna cover everything from some clothes that I've been liking, some accessories, also TV shows, and YouTube channels, and music. So I'm gonna start with clothing. The first item is this coat that I got from Sara. I think it's called a teddy bear coat. It is very cozy and fluffy and you feel just like a teddy bear. In LA it has been pretty cold. I know it's not as cold as some other places, but for me, I'm from the Caribbean. I get cold very easily. I'm not used to the cold. My next clothing favorite is this yellow top. It's from uh, Forever 21. You guys could probably tell that I love yellow, especially mustard yellow. So you can see right here, mustard yellow. Why not add one more? This one has puffy sleeves, which I really love. And it's kind of cropped, which is my preference. I love cropped tops because I can wear high-waisted jeans or high-waisted skirts with it. Yeah, if it's yellow, I'll buy it. I don't care what it is, I'll buy it. So the next on my list are socks. Specifically, these socks. This one is green and has a little avocado on it and this one is white and has a little yellow banana on it. I absolutely love socks. I always wear socks. Except when I'm going to sleep, I don't like socks when I'm sleeping. I specifically love socks that have little like embroidery on them or little cute stuff on them. I love cute things on socks. You can wear them with little like sneakers and then you will be able to see the little banana and the little avocado. And I love that. Socks. So in my last favorites, which was many months ago, I mentioned that I love berets. As you can see, I'm wearing one right now. There's another one hanging right here. I have a bunch of others in my closet. Today, we're going to discuss another hair accessory and it's these barrettes. I think that's what they're called. So these are berets and these are barrettes. I don't know, hair clips. As you can see, I have a bunch of them in different colors. I really love the pastel ones. I think they are so adorable. They look so cute. I'm always, if I want to add like a pop of color to my look, I just add a little hair clip. Also, if my bangs are not behaving, I wear a hair clip. Next, I'm going to talk about these earrings. These little moon crystal earrings. I really, really love them. They're from a store called Luna Lifted, an online store. As you guys know, I'm in love with moons. My cat name is Luna. Everything that is moon shaped, I love. So I couldn't pass on these earrings even though I can't wear them for a long time because my ears start to itch. That's not the earrings problem, that's my ears problem. <laughs> I'll leave the link down below. Next is these two posters I got at an anime convention I went to last month. This one is a poster for the movie Your Name, which is absolutely one of my favorite movies, period. period! So I saw this poster and I loved the art style on it. Um, I will leave the artist's name down below in the description if you want to check out her other stuff. I also got this poster. It's uh, cartoonified twice, the K-pop group twice, from their What Is Love music video, which is my one of my favorite music videos from them. I love, love, love twice and I saw this and it was so adorable. Again, I like the art style. I love the colors. I love how it's like a little TV. Honestly, I wouldn't really i wouldn't have a poster with actual people on it um in my wall just because i don't think it goes with like the rest of my prints and stuff that i have on my wall since i love like i wouldn't have a poster of twice in my in my room but this one was just so adorable and since they're like cartoonified i think it matches my room pretty well and the colors and everything what is love anyways and speaking of art my art does not compare at all to these pieces or to you know i'm not i'm not an artist i don't describe myself as a 
artist. But I love to draw, I've always loved drawing and I used to do it a lot before I moved to the US when I lived back in the DR, um, before I started college, I used to draw a lot. I've always loved it and I recently bought an iPad in which I've started to draw again, I've started to practice drawing again. I posted some of them on my Instagram, I've also been using it to do little animations of my videos which is which has been really cool. For example, I did this little suit sprite from Spirited Away, I've done some uh, I started to do like a lot of Ghibli stuff. I did this little guy from Princess Mononoke and I did Haku from Spirited Away. Um, they are obviously not the best, like I said, I'm not an artist, <laughs> but I've started to practice and I really like it. I also did this from Car Captor. It's still from the intro of the anime, which I love. It's my favorite anime in the world. I've been enjoying practicing art again and I hopefully will become better during this year. I really want to, that's one of my goals this year to become better at art. Next, I am going to talk about a video game that I've been loving. This one came out a while ago and everybody already freaked out about it, everybody already played it, but since I just got my Switch for Christmas, I'm starting to play it now. And I've been loving it, I've been playing it every day and it's making me procrastinate a lot, which I hate. It's one of my favorites. If you have a Switch and you are wondering what game to buy next, I suggest you buy Breath of the Wild because yeah, it's one of the best games I've ever played. It's really cool. Okay, so now I want to mention a couple of YouTube channels. The first one is It's Numbers, Naomi. She is originally from Canada, but she recently moved to Japan. She posts vlogs about living in Japan. She also does art and she also does photography. And I really like her overall style and the look of her videos. It's very bright and it just makes me happy. She's also the nicest person ever. So I really recommend her channel if you want to just watch wholesome, interesting content. I'll leave the link to her channel down below. And also, another channel that I want to mention is Steal the Spotlight. She is Katie from Australia and she makes the best fashion videos ever. She does a lot of movie inspired outfits or decade inspired outfit like the 90s or the 2000s. Recently she made a BTS inspired lookbook which I really really love because she nailed every single one of their looks. Yeah, I think her fashion videos are so different but also so well made. I suggest you go watch Katie aka Steal the Spotlight and I'll leave her link down below. Okay, so for music, I'm also gonna mention two YouTubers. One is Dodie and the other one is Conan Gray. Of course, two huge YouTube musicians. Everybody knows them probably, but they both have EPs on Spotify that I started listening to very recently and they are seriously great. Conan Gray's music reminds me so much of Lord, and Lord is one of my favorite artists. I really like his aesthetic as well. And Dodie, of course, we all know Dodie, she is amazing. I was listening to her music the other day and I was crying so much because it's so beautiful. Her lyrics, her voice, everything about her music is just so beautiful. And also it reminds me a lot of like a movie. I feel like her songs are little movies. I can just imagine them in my head and I love that. <laughs> Okay, now some TV shows that I've been enjoying are The Good Place. Um, it's a comedy that it's on Netflix right now. Is it? I think it's on Netflix, but it's also on Hulu. It stars Kristen Bell, and if you like comedies such as Brooklyn Nine-Nine or New Girl, I think you will like this one as well. It's really, really fun. Um, basically, Kristen Bell died, and she went to heaven, aka the good place, um, but there's also a bad place, which is hell. There she meets other people who also went to the good place, and I don't want to say anything else because I will spoil it, but it's very, very unique. It's not your typical comedy, but it's really really funny. And another show that I've just started watching with my roommates called Manifest and it's on Hulu. It's about a group of people who boarded a plane and the plane left in 2013. There was some turbulence and then when they landed it was already 2018, but no time had passed for them. Everybody else thought they were dead, that the plane landed somewhere, they never found it, that everybody was dead. A bunch of weird stuff happens. And it's very interesting. My roommates and I have been watching one episode every night. It reminds me kind of of Lost because it has some like supernatural elements to it, which I really like so far. So yeah, 
Movies that I've been watching lately have all been from the Oscars, like the Oscar nominations because I wanted to catch up before the Oscars. The last one I saw was Black Lens Man, which is on iTunes. I rented it on iTunes and it was really, really good. It was directed by Spike Lee, who won an Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay and who also was dressed kind of like Waluigi. But a movie that I've watched, I think it was maybe two or three months ago. It's a Japanese animated movie and it's called Perfect Blue. My friends from Neon Plus Nova, they took me to see it to the theaters. They were doing a showing of it, but I had never seen it before and I absolutely loved it. I haven't stopped thinking about that movie since when I watched it. Like sometimes from time to time, I find myself just thinking about it. Um, which means that the movie really stayed with me, which means I really liked it. It's very kind of twisted. It's a bit of a thriller. I think you can rent it probably on maybe Amazon or, or iTunes. So yeah, that's pretty much all the favorites I have for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the purple. If you have any TV shows or movies that you have been watching lately, let me know in the comments what are some of your current favorites because I already finished The Good Place and Manifest is going to end soon. I've also been watching The Umbrella Academy. I've, I've watched two episodes so far and I'm um, I've been liking it. I'm going to keep watching. I think it's interesting But yeah, if you guys have any other shows or movies that are your current favorites Please let me know down below and not only movies or shows you can tell me anything that's been your current favorite <laughs> Music YouTube channels anything you guys want to share with me and as always I love replying to the comments and we can have a little chat Thank you so much for watching if you like this video leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't and that's it for today. Okay, see you guys later. Bye!